for these people to fail and instead of doing that, you are actually misleading the youth. The reality is that everything that you have done in this scheme is an afterthought. Whether it was increasing the age limit, whether it was reservations sporadically here and there. The reality is that this gamble is not going to pay off. You will have to withdraw it like you withdrew the farm loss. And to do that, it is only fair to do that in, in right time before the youth is further agreed. For an army that was recruited about 80,000 Javans every year, you will only be recruiting only 12,000 every year permanently. So the armed forces from a strength of 14 lakh will go down to 6 lakhs. Where are the jobs? You say it will be a young army between 17 to 21. Are you disrespecting those who over the age of 30 have got Parabir Chakras? Technically, how do you think a 6 month training is a good replacement for a lifelong training that the Indian Armed Forces offer? Salary and savings of employees. Why don't they send their own sons to become Agnivis? Their sons will go and study in Harvard and in Cambridge and in Oxford and in Yale and other universities. And our children will be asked to go and work for 11 lakhs at 10 to 5, 11 years, for 4 years. There are about 5 lakhs 70,000 ex-servicemen who have applied for after-service jobs and only 2%, only 2% have got jobs so far. So for a country where Unemployment is the biggest problem. Stop misleading people with your jumblas. They say the scheme will remove casteism. That's farthest from the truth. This government itself had actually gone to court and presented an affidavit which said, given the Nam Namak Nishan motto of the Indian Armed Forces, uh, it is important for them to stay a coercive unit and this should not be done away with. They say other countries follow this. Yes, they do. Countries like Israel that they keep quoting, but the reality is that they have compulsory military service, we do not. For most people young in Israel, in fact for all people young in Israel, compulsory military training is a bridge between education and another job. In our case, this is not compulsory, you go into military for 4 years, at the age of 23 you are a retired military professional, you are actually demeaning our armed forces and hurting their morale and if nobody, you should have listened to ex Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rawal, who said that the age limit should be increased for our Jawans. They only end up serving 17 years. They should actually serve for more time. Uh, the other big point that they keep making is that this scheme will reduce their burden on exchequer. Instead of increasing the expense on our defense, given the threats from China and how China has occupied our territory, to Pakistan and the Afghanistan nexus, you are actually reducing the defense expenditure. From 2017-18 to 2020-21, you have reduced as a percentage of the total budget defense expenditure from 17.8 to 13.2 percent. And on top of that, you want to lie to the country. You want to send people in uniform to defend what is essentially your in thought out measures. So in no unequivocal terms, we vehemently oppose this and we ask for complete revocation, complete withdrawal of the Agni Pan because this is nothing but a big blot on our armed forces. Thank you. Any questions on that? मुझे एक चीज बड़ी अचंभित करती है और वो ये चीज है कि जो स्कीम आती है वो इस देश के विशेषज्ञों को इस देश के किसानों को इस देश के युवाओं को इस देश की जनता को समझ में नहीं आती सिर्फ भारतीय जनता पार्टी और उनके बदमाश बेलगाम प्रवक्ताओं को समझ में आती है तो ऐसी स्कीम आप क्यों लाते हैं जो आपके अलावा किसी को समझ में नहीं आती आप समझदार है बाकी सब ना समझ और एक ही जो दूसरा शंका रचा जाता है कि भड़का रहे किसानों को भी विपक्ष ने भड़का दिया सीए ने भी विपक्ष ने भड़का दिया जीएसटी में अर्थव्यवस्था का कोई उसको भी हमने भड़का दिया नोटबंदी से जो काम करने बंद हुए थे वो भी हमने भड़का दिया था तो जब सब हम ही कर रहे हैं तो आठ साल से सत्ता में कौन सा झुंझुना बचाने के लिए आप बैठे असलियत यह है कि आप बिना सोचे समझे एक के बाद एक तुम 
तुरंगी पर मार लाते हैं इस देश के मूल्यों के साथ खिलवाड़ करते हैं आपने लेकिन इस बार पंगा गलत ले लिया है देश के युवाओं के साथ और देश की सेना के साथ खिलवाड़ करना अनैतिक भी नहीं देशद्रोही भी है ये पाठक छोड़िए युवाओं के हक में इसको विद्रॉ कीजिए